Hi everyone, I'm Christina and welcome to my channel, Bypassing Christina, my weight loss journey. Today I'd like to talk about some of the products that I purchased in preparation for my gastric bypass surgery, which is two weeks from today. Before I get started, I just wanna say that none of these items are sponsored. Uh, I just have been watching some other YouTubers and these were items I felt would be uh, helpful to get me through my liquid diet, my hospital stay, and then when I return home from the hospital. So let's get started. The first product I got was uh, beef bouillon soup from Berry Wise. I paid $7.48. It is a seven count and I got it from Amazon. And here's the nutritional information. I also wanted to get the chicken flavor broth, but they were out of it on Amazon when I ordered. So I was able to locate it on the Bariatric Pal website. And I paid $13.99 for a seven count with Bariatric Pal. Same nutritional information, I believe. So I think that'll be really helpful um, to get me through the liquid stage uh, prior to surgery. Uh, I can drink clear liquids and then have three to four protein shakes before my surgery. Next, I have a 15 count variety pack of nectar protein packs. All the different flavors that came in the package are 23 grams of protein. Um, they do have slightly different nutritional information depending on the variety. Uh, I will insert a photo somewhere in here of all of the different flavors that I received. As I said, it was supposed to be a 15 variety pack, but when I got it, it actually only had 14 different flavors. Um, there were 15 packages, but there was a duplicate. So if you notice that in the photo, that is why. I got these from Bariatric Pal for $33.99. And then next I got these little one ounce, they're kind of difficult to see, one ounce little cups they're similar to the types of cups you might get, like if you're in the hospital and they bring medication to you. Um, so I thought these would come in handy when I first get out of the hospital trying to get my liquids down. My dietician said that I probably would not even be able to drink one ounce of fluids at a time, probably more like a quarter to a half an ounce every 10 to 15 minutes. So I thought these would come in handy to keep me in check, make sure I'm drinking enough, but not too much. So I doubt I'll use all these, but it was a hundred and they were $5.36 on Amazon. Okay, so then I've got these small little condiment cups. They have uh, the cup and then a lid. It's a uh, 100 count. I got them on Amazon for $6.92. I thought these would be handy uh, when I am um, preparing food, even in the very beginning, um, in the early stages, when I am just having things like yogurt or um, pudding, I can measure out the servings and put them in these little cups and then put them away in the refrigerator. That way I'm not constantly measuring out my food and uh, doing that all day long. Everything is set and ready to go in the refrigerator. And then I got a pill case, which I think every bariatric patient gets um, for all of the, the vitamins that we have to take. Uh, this one is in a case. It's a case in a case. <laughs> um, it's airtight and waterproof. And then each, there's a case for each day the cases are quite large. I know the vitamins are quite large, so this should be really good. The reason I went with this one that is airtight is because I've heard that some people who go with the gummy vitamins, by the time, if you lay out your pills for the whole week, by the time you get to the end of the week, the gummies are all hard. And so I thought a airtight container might help with that. Also, I like that I can take, if I'm going to be out for the day, I can just take a single sleeve with me, put it in my purse, and then I have everything I need for the day while I'm out. 
and this was $11.98 on Amazon. And here I have the ultimate measuring set with 19 uh, pieces. There's 10 cups and nine teaspoons. I haven't even opened the box yet. Ugh! I also pet up. Uh, So we have a rather large set of measuring cups, medium to small. And then last but not least, the measuring spoons. <laughs> Try to make that as exciting as measuring cups and spoons can be. I got these from Amazon for $7.89. I also got some small containers. It's called the uh, 12 piece baby block set. And I got these because I thought that when I am preparing food, I may not be able to consume it all. And so I may want to put it in the refrigerator or freeze it. They come, they come in two sizes. They come in the small, and I don't know if you can see, there's a, a tray that they fit into. Um, the lids are airtight. You can just pop it back into the tray. So they come in six small and then four medium. Again, the medium has the tray too, so it should be nice. Um, they shouldn't slide around in my freezer or refrigerator. And they do have uh, measuring, you can't probably see it, but they do have measurements on the side. It looks like the big ones hold four ounces. The small ones hold two ounces. Then at Christmas time, I asked my husband uh, for a small food processor. I actually told him which one I was wanting. So uh, this is the Cuisinart four cup. Uh, work bowl. I've already used it. It's a really nice size. Um, I think it will come in handy during the pureed stage and just even beyond. I use it a lot for like chopping onions and vegetables and stuff like that. Um, when he purchased it, of course, at Christmas time, um, I believe it was $39 or $49. I have not been able to locate a link for it. Um, I don't think it's this particular model is for sale, but um, Cuisinart and there's many other Black & Decker and other handy choppers out there, so it shouldn't be difficult to find one, but a four, a four quart is a really nice size, I think. The next thing I got, I left in the package because it's kind of difficult to tell what it is. It is a drain cover. This is the type of drain we have in our shower, but I know they make these for flat shower drains and it is um, going to catch any hair that I will be losing so it doesn't go down the drain and clog it. And I got this from Amazon for $9.99. And I have this scale that I've had for many, many years, probably 10 or 15 years, I am fairly certain they do not sell this particular model anymore. Um, something I like about this scale, which probably almost all scales have this now, but um, I can turn the scale on, put a plate on it, and then push a button and it will zero the scale out. So then I can add my food to it without counting the weight of the plate or the bowl. Um, again, and it, this one is, very, it's not fancy at all, but it does just enough that I think um, it'll do fine. I know I'll be using a scale frequently to measure my food. I got this little um, health and wellness journal. I got it from fitlosophy.com for $16.95. I thought it was really neat. It has like, um, today I'm grateful for, my goal to live life fit today is, one thing I appreciate about my strong body today is 
Uh, and then it has every day, I'll show you in just a second, every day it has a different saying, like this one says, be strong. You never know who you are inspiring or set a goal that makes you want to jump out of bed in the morning. And it allows you to um, journal your food. So I thought that would be really neat to find journaling and then I can look back maybe on days when I'm not feeling so great, like if I hit a plateau, which I know I will, um, I can look back at where I started and what my thoughts were in the beginning. Or even once I have reached maintenance and I want to remember where I came from, because sometimes when you're losing weight, you forget where you came from. All of a sudden you're in this new body and you don't really remember how bad you felt or whatever. So I think having this journal will keep me accountable and help me um, remember where I came from. This is probably too much information, but um, I already struggle with constipation. And uh, so I take Miralax every day and uh, it helps keep things moving. Uh, I did talk to the dietitian, and she said that I can take uh, up to two doses a day if necessary, if things are really not moving, um, but definitely okay to continue to take one dose a day. Uh, I got this from Target. It is a 17.9 ounce bottle and it is $18.99. And if the Miralax doesn't work, then I have Smooth Move. Uh, it is 16 count. I paid $4.52 for it on Amazon and it is a tea and I've heard that it works. It works overnight. So um, it's not, I think it's a gentle laxative. I don't think it's something that's going to cause severe like cramping or anything like that. So I am set. Uh, also, I have some uh, gas X because I've heard that bloating and all that is an issue. We already had this, but I did look it up on target.com and it is $11.99. These are the soft gels um, and this is a 50 count. So $11.99 for a 50 count. And then if everything is moving, like I'm hoping it will, I've heard it's not pretty. I've got some poopery. I've heard that after you have bariatric surgery, the smell is horrific, bad. I did this, I bought this for my family. They will love me more because I bought it. And then as if I haven't talked about enough smelly stuff, I've also heard that when your body goes into ketosis, your breath is bad. I don't want to have dragon breath, so I bought some Listerine coolant strips. These I got on Amazon for $3.99, and there's 72 strips. I plan on taking these to the hospital because um, I'm sure, one, I'll have the bad breath, and two, my mouth will probably be like the Sahara Desert, so this will probably be refreshing. And then uh, at my particular hospital, I have heard that the um, electrical outlet is quite a distance from the um, bed. So I purchased a 10 inch, or purchased a 10 foot Apple charging phone cord. Uh, I got this on Amazon for $17.99. Um, because of the COVID virus, um, my hospital, well, originally they weren't allowing any patients to have visitors or family with them. Um, but then they have since changed it, which I know it could change again by the time I have surgery in two weeks. But right now they're currently allowing one uh, visitor. But um, because I have uh, two children and we don't have any family here in town, um, my husband is just going to stay home and come pick me up when it's time to be picked up. So I want to be able to, um, if I'm up to it, FaceTime with them. So it's important that my phone is charged. I don't 
think it's not going to be charged because I have a feeling I'm going to be sleeping most of the day, but just in case I've got this. And then I also have some pajamas already, um, but I purchased some new ones um, from Walmart. They're just gray and stretchy, but I like the cute ribbon on the side. Uh, I got two different pairs, um, two different sizes, because I've heard that uh, after surgery, I'm not going to want anything tight at all around my incisions and also that my stomach is going to be very bloated. So the last thing I want to do is have anything tight rubbing on them or feeling like I'm going to explode out of my pajamas. So I may not wear the larger of the two pair very long, but comfort is important to me. So then I got some new slippers. I have slippers, but they're kind of in need of replacement. Let's just put it that way. So I got some new ones. They're mucklucks, and I got them from Amazon for $28.95. Um, even though I haven't actually worn them, because you can tell I have the tag on them, but I've tried them on. They're really cushy and soft, and I think they'll be cozy. I cannot stand those um, socks they put on you at the hospital. They're just, I don't know. And I just like to have something cushy uh, when I'm walking. I always have slippers on at home. I think that's everything. Um, if I met, forgot to tell you where I got something or how much something cost, I plan on linking everything down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you will like it and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments or have any suggestions for future videos, please leave that in the comment section below and I'm happy to do that or answer any questions. Uh, I plan on making a couple more videos before my surgery, which like I said, is two weeks from today. It's June 11th. So thanks for watching.